how do you describe yourself or who is the self? It's interesting because a lot of people, when they introduce themselves, it's always their title, the responsibilities, but is that really, you know, the self? It's interesting. I'm going to share something with you. So these uh, positions we're in, uh, give someone, if you want to know someone, give them power. If mm -hmm. you want to know the essence of someone, let them, give them a, uh, give them a rank and let's see how they behave. Some people would not even call you anymore. Some people would consider themselves as the authority on earth. They wouldn't turn your call. They wouldn't think of others anymore. They would think of themselves only. So position is just a temporary thing. And we, when we respect someone in a leadership, we don't respect them for them. We respect them for the power they have. It's, let's say, a president. People, while that individual is a president, they would respect the seat of power that individual is sitting on. That's the nature of man, nature of people. The minute he's exiting or exits that power, he would not be respected. Lesson learned, you're respecting the seat of power, not the individual. So my message to leaders, while you are on that seat of power, understand, and probably you heard it somewhere, people do not respect you, respect others. So what you do, you make sure you use that power you have from that seat of power and influence others to pay attention to you. How do you do that? Through your good deed, authentic deeds, transparent deeds. So when you leave that seat of power, they would cry for you. They would wish you never leave it. Because at no time you let that seat of power corrupt you. It will. You will have people around you that will remove, remove you from your followers. If you had certain qualities before, and the minute you reach the establishment and you become part of the establishment, these knights around you, they can remove, remove you from your people, the, the surrounding, the people that put you up. Make sure at no time do you let these knights of the culture, they call, they call them the, the uh, they protect the culture. Every culture has knights, the knights, K-N-I-G-H-T-S. These knights, they care about the culture itself, not the individual, not the individual leader. Could be any leader. They come, they have a role to play to protect the culture. That's why cultures are sustained through leadership. You bring somebody and sometimes some of these other components of the society, they play that role. They would maintain the culture by an example. If we go further here, I don't mind. I'll just say it. Let them, let them uh, quote your show anyway. We have we have Twitter, we have Facebook. These are private companies. So the deep state comes out and says, Donald Trump has to go. Because why? This leader, he started to crack the foundation of the culture, the balance we're looking for. When you start having people fight and go through a demonstration and burning everywhere, you saw that. That's not something good for the people who's preserving this culture. We call it the deep state, regardless of who they are, because they do exist and they are there. So this culture and organization, if it's an organization or otherwise, but the culture in general, some of the players, the powerful players, they start to become an arm of the institution. Example, Twitter is a private company. Facebook is a private company and others are private companies. Suddenly, you start seeing them as acting as a government or part of the government. Why? Why? Have somebody said, why is Facebook forbidding Trump to have his own uh, account or Twitter, whatever, 80 millions in God? Why is that? It's because of, the, because of the institution and the seat of power. There are two seats of power. There's a seat of power that is showing to us, present to us, and there's a seat of power that is behind the scene that rules everything that we're doing in the culture, especially a large culture like us. There's a, there's a seat of power, meaning made of people that maintain the hierarchy that we live in. A certain class, certain faith, certain people will manage the overall above the line. Everybody else could have democracy, but to us on top, we are managing this specific organization or country. So here you have two private companies, powerful companies, they will take the position of government to eliminate this individual that was on the seat of power. What I'm saying is the individual doesn't matter whether it's Trump or otherwise. What matters is who occupies the seat of power 
and what he does or she does to maintain the culture that you live in. If we understand that, then that leader, instead of showing arrogance and dealing with others, you should show compassion. Because at the end, it's not you that what matters. What matters is the institution and the organization. You studied organizational behavior, human behavior. And from your perspective, would you say most employees and most human beings are out there looking out for their own needs, their own self-interest? We live in a society that is selfish. Only initiatives like we're talking about or that do exist that will make you believe that you are there for others. We, the I in us, mm -hmm. is very, very powerful and impactful. We care for ourselves. We are in nature, unless trained otherwise, we care for us, the I in us. Let's see the children in the, in the early stages. Mm -hmm. They don't want to share. They don't want to share their toys. Mm -hmm. And then the role of parent in this case, leadership, the role of parents, they will come and say, hey, share your toy. And suddenly start sharing slowly but surely. But if you train them, to be selfish from the beginning, which is naturally us, uh, the I in us, they will always think of themselves. The capitalist society, the reason it failed and stagnated, whoever tells you their success in the capitalist society is mistaken. We are too large, that's why you don't see the cracks. But there's a very huge cracks in the society we're in because the majority of people, they believe in the I. They believe in me, me only, the selfish I. The reason people don't put masks and the society is suffering because of COVID, because people are selfish, not because they have a theory that it's Chinese or made it here and there. It's them selfish. They don't care for others. If they had that caring for others, they will put the mask because it does protect them and protect others. So this is the capital system in the capitalist mind has to be modified, reinvented. Capitalism in general proved to be a good force in between all the theories, between socialism and others, between socialism and capitalism, capitalism is the key because it meets the need of the I in us. Mm -hmm. If you deny us that I, and you say the government will control everything, you're denying myself. Like, this is my human rights. Probably this is innate rights. So what capitalism did? She said, no, you can you can go ahead and improve, but then play the role of parents. What we say is play the role of parents and say, hey, you can share. It's okay to share this toy. The toy is the, the wealth you accumulated, the wealth that made you the richest and then people are rotting and suffering and staying on homeless. Why would a society like this with billions of dollars have homeless? Only 150,000 people, you can't find a solution. It's not really a country that you wanna admire, meaning you don't admire the system that you work with improving the system. So if you add this compassionate approach to it, to the capitalist system that we're in, think of others along the way. You as a leader, think of others along the way. Think of your employees. Don't make thousands and millions of dollars to the shareholders while these people are making minimum wages. No, find a solution to make these individuals make, have a good quality of life so they can, they can pay back, uh, they can contribute back. The, uh, the value they add is more from the heart mm -hmm. than they come and they're forced to be in that position.